Attention! McCarthy Math Academy proudly presents the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. Hello everyone, I'm Miss McCarthy and I am so excited that you are here. are more than a test score. We don't want you stressing out about this test. We just want you to activate your greatness within. And you might be saying, But Miss McCarthy, listen, I know that math is your jam, but math and I, yeah, we're not really the best of friends. You may have struggled in the past, and you know what? Good. Struggle is necessary because struggle makes us stronger. If we go over something in these videos that you're like, hmm, that skill didn't quite click yet, I'm gonna send you to more videos to help you practice. Your teachers and I, we can expose you to all kinds of tools and strategies, but you have to choose to use them. You have to choose to own them. Imagine opening up that test and feeling so excited to throw down your best. This can be your reality. So now is the time that you need to activate the person you were born to be and let's do this. Are you ready to throw 100% focus, hustle, and heart into this right now? That's what I'm talking about, yes! Okay, let's go ahead and jump on into today's episode of the Math FSA Bootcamp Series. And <laughs> I almost forgot to say, uh, let me teach ya. What's up, fourth grade, and welcome to the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. At this time, I'd like for you to go ahead and pause the video and work out the two problems today on your own. You should see a part A and a part B. It's really one question, but it has two different parts, so check that out. And if you're thinking, Ms. McCarthy, I don't have the worksheet, well, check out the link below or somewhere around this video, and you should see a place where you can click, and that will take you to a place where you can download the worksheet that you need for this episode along with the other episodes episodes in the fourth grade FSA series. All right, so at this time, go ahead and pause the video, work out the two-parter question, and then come on back and join me. Welcome back, fourth grade. Okay, before we get started, let's just scan this question. All right, I'm seeing this question has two parts. There's part A right here and part B right down here, right? Um, this says question types. So let's go ahead and knock those out before we even get started. So we have part A, which has a grid. So part A is a gridded, oh, you can't see, a gridded response. And then for part B, let's see, we've got four answer choices. So what kind of question is this? Yeah, it's a multiple choice. Cool, beans. And beans are really cool, just so you know. Let's annotate this question. So it says, this question has two parts. And we will answer both. Two numbers are multiplied using the area model shown. So we've got two numbers, which would be here and here. These numbers combined. They are being multiplied using the area model shown. So this whole thing down here is the area model. Okay, you can even, right there is the area model. Now an area model is a strategy for how you can multiply. If you have not learned the area model, you should still be able to be successful in thinking about this problem. Focus on what you know. All right, so the first one says, Part A, what is the missing value? Well, the missing value is right here. We don't know what it is, but when we find out, we're going to put it in our gridded response, right? Let me move this up just a little bit. Okay, so let me check this out as if I'm not even sure what this area model is. I see six on this side. I see 6,000 plus 900 plus 40 plus seven. And I'm noticing right away that six and seven, if I multiply them, it's 42. And six and 40, well, I know that six, six times four is 24. And because there's a zero there, that's why I have a zero here because it's a multiple of 10, right? 
And then here I have 6 and 6. 6 times 6 would be 36, and we have 1, 2, 3 zeros and 1, 2, 3 zeros. All right, so what goes here? Well, if I multiply 6 times 9, let me use my multiplication mashup to get me there quickly. I'll use the 6 song and get 9 fingers. Ready? Hey, 6s, I just met ya. You're kind of crazy. 6, 12, and 18. 24 and 30. 36 and 40. 2 and 48. 54. 54. So 6 times 9 is 54 with 1, 2, 0. So 1, 2, 0 is there. That would be 5,400 or 5,400. I can also go the other way using the 9 song from the multiplication mashup and get 6 fingers. Watch this. We got those 9s. 9, 18, 27, I'm just beginning. 36, 45, 54, or both ways will get us that 54 that we need. So what is the missing value? The missing value is 5,400, which we need to put into our gridded response, but there's something that we have to remember. These right here, are they commas? No, they are decimals. This is not a decimal, it is a comma. A comma separates each period. It closes each period out of a number. I talk about that a lot in McCarthy Math 155, and I'll send you in the direction of the website with those videos. What is this? <laughs> at, the, at the end of this lesson, okay? All right. Um, we do not want to put the comma inside of here, though. There is no comma. There, since there's no comma feature, we just forget it. All right, so I like to start from the left and record my digits over. The cool thing about the gridded response is that you could go either way, starting from the left or backing up from the right, like zero, zero, four, and five. That would be fine too. What I would like for you to do is to stick to the same strategy that you've been using with your teacher all year. Follow your teacher's guide, but both are correct. The thing that would not be correct is like randomly putting in like five right here, four, zero, zero. You don't want it floating in the middle. Choose a side to start from. Got it? All right, then you just bubble in the corresponding number. So here's the four. Four, a zero, and zero. That would be our missing value. Let's look at the second part. The second part says, let me bring it down. What is the product? Ooh, product means that we are going to multiply. The product is the total when we multiply. What is the product of the two numbers represented by the area model? Okay, I'm gonna do this two ways, okay? I was pretending as if I wasn't sure what an area model was. You should know what an area model is because that's one of the strategies that I know is taught in most Florida schools. But I'm kind of going at it like, what if I didn't know what it was? What could I still do? Okay, so if I didn't know what an area model was, but I knew that I was finding the product of the two numbers, First, I need to figure out what those two numbers were that were multiplying. They were six times what? 6,000 plus 900 plus 40 plus seven. And when we take all of those and scrunch them together, because right now it's in expanded form, let's put it back into standard form. That would be 6,947. Let me put it up here so you can see it. Now, I'm going to do the standard algorithm real quick and then what I'm going to do is finish out the area model. So first the standard algorithm. I like to take the greater number first, put that on top and I put the one digit on the bottom. It just makes it easier for me. And because we are multiplying we can flip flop those factors because of the commutative Property, which is a song I have on YouTube. Properties of multiplication, check it out. What's up with this robot voice? Why can't I stop, stop? Oh gosh. Six times seven, so we're gonna use a six song again. Hey sixes, I just met ya. You're kinda crazy. Six, 12, and 18. 24 and 30. 36 and 40. Two, which would be 42. Woo, it's high up here. Nice landing, dude. All right, six times four would be six, 12, and 18, 24. So we have 24 plus four would be 28. 
whoo, what's high up here in the clouds? Nice landing, dude. The reason why I say, whoo, what's high up here in the clouds, I put a little cloud around it, is because after we're done multiplying, we add what's ever here. And because we're doing two different operations, we're multiplying and then adding, I have to, I put a circle around it to remind me. I put it in a cloud to remind me to add it. Back to the problem. Times nine, well, we did that before and it was 54. So 54 plus two would be 56. Woo, it's high up here in the clouds. Nice landing, dude. And then we have six times six would be six, 12 and 18, 24 and 30, 36. So 36 plus five would be 41. So 41,682, do you see that as an answer, y'all? I do too, right here at D. It's not that one. That was what we originally had. It's not B or C either, it is D. Okay, now if you don't know what the standard algorithm is, that's okay, because you may have learned the area model. And you know that all we need to do now is take these values and do what? Add them up, that's right. Um, because I'm running out of room, I'm actually going to do this up here. So I'm going to take 36,000. I'm going to take 5,400. Make sure they're nice and lined up. I'm going to take 240 plus 240 plus 42. Add them together. Zero plus zero plus zero plus two is two. 0 plus 0 plus 4 plus 4 is 8. 0 plus 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 plus 5 is 11. Woo, what's high up here? Nice landing, dude. And 1 plus 3 is 4. And we get the same product, the same answer. Okay? So there you go. At this time, go ahead and make any corrections that you need to make to your work if you need to, and that's okay. This is a learning experience. And then I'm going to point you in the direction of some more videos. So I do want to point you in the direction of some more videos to practice, because I know I went kind of quickly through these because this is just a prep for you for the FSA. Now, if you know that you need some more help, now is the time to take charge of your learning. If you're like, ooh, I really need help with the area model or with multiplication in general, I want you to check out McCarthy Math 155 Unit 3. It's all multiplication. We go through the standard algorithm. We do partial products. We do the area model. It is super fun. This is a game-changing series. There's, there is 155 episodes, so basically you have a daily episode that you can use every day in your classroom. But right now, as you're getting ready for the FSA, that is where you can get some more practice, okay? This is a membership, but you can get yourself a seven-day free trial and see if it's right for you. If it is, there are definitely some affordable options there for you. The second video that I'd like to provide in the link below, all of this will be in the link below, or somewhere around this video, the second link is to the how to pass the math FSA video on this same standard right here. The how to pass series was a series I created a few years ago back when the FSA was a computer based test. Since it's not a computer based test anymore, that's why I created this series, the math FSA boot camp, because the way that you answer will look a little different on the paper based. However, there are still some excellent questions for you to practice, so check out that series. Also, you heard me singing the multiplication mashup, so I will include that as a link below. This is a song that students love to sing to help them with their multiplication facts. In fact, so many students, I get teachers all the time who say that you have changed my students' lives because of this song. Like They are so quick with their multiplication facts because they listen to this song every day. So check out the multiplication mashup, and I really hope that it helps you. All right, I'd love for you to stay in the loop with everything going on and all the resources that I create and put out there. So follow me on Instagram or Facebook at McCarthy Math Academy. You can also follow me on YouTube at McCarthy Math Academy by subscribing. And while you're here, go ahead and like that video. Not for me because listen, I'm on a mission to make math fun and make it stick and click for students all over. And when you click that like button, it lets other students know that this is a video that they should watch to help them. It gets the word out there. So if you could 
could do that, that would be awesome. Go ahead, smash that like button, subscribe. And finally, before we go, I just want you to know that you were created for a purpose. That's right. You are the ones that we have been waiting for. So find your light and shine it bright. Watch out, world, because we have a whole new generation of world changers ready to step it up and make this world a better place. When you have the choice, choose kindness, and you always have that choice. And I will see you all on the next episode. Bye, bye, bye.